Hey yo, Kevin Ingham boy here. And I had uh, my damn camera stopped recording me. And, and now I packed the Chica Chew again. Just like last night. I um, think I need to clear some more space on my, on my damn camera. So what I've been doing, just deleting stuff, and we'll just get a bigger memory card. That's all. Our, that's either. That's either one. I can get either one. Well, do either one and um, fix the problem. But yeah. Um. I mean, it really doesn't bother me that my camera's doing this because I know I can solve the problem, but, um, yeah. But, um, now I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. I've been sick for almost four days straight now. I haven't been feeling so hot. Um, still going to go out on the weekends, even if I'm sick or not because I have to get away from my fucking family because people in my family are annoying mainly my nieces because they're just well actually I don't even have a reason because of their annoyances because I have so many reasons why they're fucking annoying and they make me angry most of the time um my older niece is, um, two years younger than me, um, she's not as annoying, but she is annoying from time to time. I mean, but they're both annoying. At some points in time, I will admit, I'm even annoying at some points in time. But, people just get pissed off at me when I'm annoying. Coke Dipper, I'm looking at you, buddy. You gotta calm your anger down like I had to do. Even though my anger is still very unstable, I've actually calmed it down a whole lot more than what it used to be. But, yeah. My anger used to be very, very, very unstable when I was younger. And, um, I would, uh, if you made me angry and you're play fighting with me, um, I'd wind up slamming you into three or four different walls like I did to my brother one night. And basically just straight up beating your ass if you make me angry. Because I don't get looking for trouble. If trouble finds me and I have to fight my way out of it, it won't bother me one bit. And if there's more than one person, all I got to do is call my brother and he'll be up there to help me. So. And if they want to squad up, all I got to do is call a whole bunch of people. But then again, I do like one-on-one -on -one fights better because... Mainly, it's not a whole cluster fuck of people that can team up on one of y'all and you get your ass beat. And then you're out of the fight and just one on one seems a whole lot more fair, way better. Nobody else gets hurt. Shit, you might even get a good laugh. But with a whole bunch of people. Fighting's really not that fun, to be honest. Um,
because um, it's basically like if you spar with someone in like in like um, jujitsu or something like that, and you have a spar with them, and it's a one on one. That's a fair fight, you versus him. Whatever he has, you have. If you don't have anything, he don't have anything. It's a fair fight. Um, like that, basically. If you, if you've ever taken Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's like that. I've taken a couple fighting styles because I got sick and tired of being bullied when I was younger. So, after I got done taking fighting styles, nobody really messed with me anymore. And I had a better life after I got done. I wasn't getting bullied all the time. And it's hard to believe a person like me would get bullied. But then again, I'm not even that big. I'm just a very nice guy. Till you piss me off. Then I can be a real asshole. I say that all the time. And... Very little people can push me to my breaking point to where I want to fight you, but some people have, and um, I show no mercy in my fights because there's really no point in showing mercy if you're going to fight them, because if you show mercy, it's basically like you're giving away the fight to them, like you're basically throwing the fight on purpose and I throw no fights if you beat my ass you beat my ass if you if you don't you don't hey cope dipper we need to wrestle on camera one on one wrestling and we'll see if you can beat me anytime soon cause you are yet to beat me and I want to see if you can bring it on and beat me in front of a camera. <sighs> we'll do it in the living room. We'll wrestle in my damn living room. Probably tear, tear the damn couch apart again. But it'll be fun. We'll wrestle on camera. And them little them gym muscles ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Cause gym muscles don't matter. It's all about how you fight. Well it it's not all about how you fight, it's mainly about who knows what and who does it better. And I'm good at grappling, so. There's only been one person that has actually made me submit in grappling. And he actually. He actually used. M he actually used my arms to make me defenseless and then got me in a headlock and then I was screwed either way so I had to tap. Because right when he got me in the headlock he locked it and then I was like fuck I know I'm screwed so I'm just going to tap. And there's a bee right on my fucking camera. No. Bee. Bee alone. Leave my camera alone. It's not your motherfucker. I'll fight you. <laughs> Fist fight a bee. Sounds like fun. Might get stung a couple times, but I'll kill it. But yeah. Cup Dipper, we need to uh, wrestle. 
or grapple, whatever the hell you want to call it, and on camera, in front of everyone on YouTube, and I might just let you win one, <laughs> unless you think you can beat me, real talk, and Black Dipper, I want you to come and record this, because it it's going to be pretty fun. But yeah, y'all, no matter what y'all doing, 24-7, always pack a lip or a cheek, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.